What's up Brozones, welcome to the Ozone and welcome to another video. This is literally like the 10th video that I've recorded in a space of 24 hours. I know, it's, it's crazy. And I'm tired, I really want to go, I really want to go to bed. <laughs> but, this security breach thing came out and I just uploaded my reaction to it literally just a minute ago. Uh, and the thing's been out for an hour now. Uh, and I wanted to go through it a little bit more in depth and I realized that there's not much things that you can go in in depth. There are a few references to different TV shows in there, um, like 80s TV shows, uh, even like things like Scooby-Doo and stuff like that. Uh, there are a few references to that, but apart from that, not that much. But I would say there's three big points that we should take away from this uh, and kind of secrets in a way, in this video. So if you haven't seen my reaction video, if you don't know what I'm talking about at all, go and watch that, I just uploaded it. Um, but if not, if you have seen all of that, then let's go into 23 seconds into the video, or 22, 23 seconds into the video, and there is a single frame, right? A single frame, and I did actually catch this in my reaction video. There's a single frame in that video and it's this. This is perhaps the most terrifying thing I've ever seen in the FNAF series. It's crazy terrifying. Like, Puppet Carver, the front cover of Puppet Carver, is terrifying. This is worse. What is this? It looks disgusting. Now, I, I have no idea what this is, and I don't know if it is going to have law significance, like if, if any of this is going to mean anything in Security Breach, or if it is like a teaser, or if it's just an easter egg. But oh my god, this is so creepy. So you can obviously make out a face here. Uh, you can make out a few different faces in the back as well. Uh, but do notice that this is only... This is only like a, uh, oh wow, I just had a weird thought. Sorry, I should probably talk. Uh, this is only like a, a glitch effect. So the main video uh, has the Chica and the Freddy and the Bonnie walking like this, and then it glitches, okay? So not all of the video, not all of the video has been replaced. So you can still see the remnants of some of the background of what was playing before, but things have been added in the glitch including this face. There are a few different eyes around the face, I believe, as well. You can see the white pupils kind of glowing in the background. But this face is strange to me because it... It reminds me of two different things. The first thing it reminded me of straight off the bat, and when I saw it in the reaction, I was like, wait, that's a face. That's a human face. Is this Afton? I'm not just... I'm not saying it's a human, okay? It, it's not a human. It's definitely not a human. Is this Afton who's come back? Now, the real thing here is, uh, the, the, thing, the thing to talk about here is the fact that Vanny is probably rebuilding Afton's suit, right? Is it gonna look like this? I don't know. I feel like it's gonna be another rabbit. Uh, it, it might be something like the Afton amalgamation. I don't think it is the Afton amalgamation from the Fast Breath Frights books, uh, but it very well could be. Um, but yeah, it, it very well could be Afton because that would set us nicely to Security Breach, right? Um, I don't know who else this could be, really. If you're looking ahead to Security Breach, who, who else it could be an antagonist? I don't know, apart from Afton. So it, it could be Afton. Um, it even looks a little bit like Vanny, but I, I don't think... No, it's, it's definitely not Vanny, actually, uh, now that I think about it. Uh, another person I think it does look like, or another animatronic I think it does look like, uh, is Night Marion, which is really strange, right? You can see it when, when, I, when I say it, you can see it now. It does look a little bit like Night Marion, and that makes me wonder, did the puppet survive the fire? Because, thinking about it, I, I don't remember, I don't recall Lefty ever being in the fire. <laughs> Hear me out, I don't remember Lefty being in the fire in FNAF 6. I could be completely wrong. There could be a screenshot with Lefty in the fire, but I don't remember. You know, you saw the Molten Freddy trying to get out, and the Scrap Baby in the fire, and the Afton burning in hell. I don't remember one with Lefty. 
So that's interesting. Did the puppet survive? Was the puppet rebuilt? Is Charlotte still roaming around in the security breach mall? That is very interesting to me. Um, and the other thing I will say, because a lot of people I think are going to think this as well, the Stitch Wraith. It could be. Uh, I really don't think it is, but it does have like a little, like a little touches there are are similar to to how the Stitch Wraith is described in the books. Um, but yeah, there you go. Uh, that is a very. It looks like it's got like a purple. T oh no, it doesn't. That's Bonnie. That's Bonnie. So remember this, this face. This face is perhaps the creepiest thing that's come out of the Freddy Fazbear universe and uh, it's terrifying. I don't want to look at it anymore. Okay, so the next thing I quickly want to talk about is the ending. So, the ending, uh, the security breach logo comes together and it's a lovely animation. It's brilliant. But under that, there are loads of numbers. What's that about? Well, it's not a code. Uh, it's nothing like that. There is no um, release date there in that moment however it is leading up to a release date because remember this is episode one okay so there's going to be episodes after this and at the end of those there's also going to be numbers so we're going to need to watch out for all of that sort of thing and the thing that we need to watch out for are numbers that stay constant okay so what i mean by that is in this video if you look at the ending with the numbers there are loads of numbers that are completely random uh, there's no point trying to track them because it doesn't mean anything. It's literally just random. But if you look at the fifth digit, okay, the fifth digit, it, it, it goes for a while and then it stays constant on two. So that means that the fifth digit is two. What is this? It's a release date, okay? Obviously, it's going to be released 2021. If it's not released in 2021, it's released in 2022 or so on. It's not going to be released in 2030, okay? So we technically already knew that the fifth digit of the release date was going to be two. And so this creates a connection. And so in the next few episodes, it's going to be one constant number. And then we keep it in that place. And then it's going to spell out a release date for us. And hopefully, hopefully it's going to be 2021. <laughs> uh, this is really exciting that, that we have this now. We have something that's going to give us a release date. It's amazing. It's been two years. It's literally been two, two years uh, and we finally got uh, somewhat of a release date. I'm just wondering when these episodes are going to be um, are going to be released because hopefully uh, it's soon after the other. Uh, it could be weekly. It could be daily. I don't know. I don't know. We'll just have to wait and see. The last thing. I quickly want to talk about is something that Underscore is going to talk about in one of his Law Bites episodes because I pointed it out to him. So, episode 6 of Law Bites is going to be about the Fazbear archives. So, he's already made a video on this and we already talked about this quite a bit, but in the Ultimate Survival Guide, or is it the Ultimate? No, the Ultimate Freddy Files, um, basically, there's a description of it. And we think that it's going to be a lot different to the others, mainly because Freddy Files doesn't appear on the front cover. And also the description is a lot more in depth and it seems like it's going to confirm some theories and it's going to give us new lore. And that's something big. And one of the big things in that was about new lore from the Freddy Fazbear archives. And I was like, what's that? What is the Freddy Fazbear archives? Like, we've never heard of that. And it turns out that there's actually going to be lost lore from way back in the 1980s, from in the 1990s, from 2000s, and stuff like that. And it's going to come back to us. So we're going to get some new lore in that book. The cool thing is, the cool thing about all of this, is that in the description of this video, we have confirmation that this clip came from the Freddy Fazbear archives. So, that means that we're gonna be getting new lore, basically. It, it, it means, it's, it's very cool, it's, an, it's a bittersweet connection. The Freddy Fazbear archives are going to be our way of like knowing things about the past a little bit more while we move forward in the timeline. Boys, I'm super excited for episode two uh, and where all of this is gonna take 
uh, everything. What do you guys think about all of this? Tell me in the comments below, and I will see you in another video. Goodbye.